What's going on guys, No Slack Novak here, and finally we have another episode of Prison Architect. It's been a few days, I apologize, things have happened, but we are back to playing. And first thing I noticed here, we have a dude with blue hair. Gary Chambers, Ice Pick. Nice blue hair, I kind of like it. Software developer, makes sense. Snapped and murdered multiple people after their repeated insistence at using two space tabs instead of four space tabs. That is a code of reference there. Uh, cool. Trafficking, 13 years. So he's going to be spending quite a bit of time with us, although he is, um, you know, a little bit over a third of the way done. Close to getting halfway there. Cool. I like the hair, though. Anyways, let's go ahead and continue. Now, a lot of you guys were pointing out in the comment section, you guys know that I read the comment section pretty, pretty religiously. And a lot of you guys have been pointing out that the um, that the prisoners are actually being able to bypass our um, metal detectors over here, right? Because we've got them as you come in. Regardless of what direction you go in, uh, we have the metal detectors. However, um, when they're in their cells, they can actually avoid those metal detectors um, by going up here to the north. As you guys can see here, we have an opening to this little pathway, and they can kind of they can smuggle stuff out of the kitchen by going through the holding cell and then coming back up here. So what I want to do, first and foremost, let's go ahead and seal that up. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to build a brick wall here and here. And then we're going to also do a large jail door. We're going to throw that bad boy right there in the middle. And then we're going to do the door servo, right? Because we want to make all these doors um, remote controlled. So we want to do that so that we don't have to have the guards opening and closing every single door and a lot of you guys were suggesting to just lock all the doors open which that absolutely doesn't make any sense this is a prison why would we lock all the like there wouldn't even really be a point in having doors pretty much if we were to just lock them open so we're not gonna do that what we're gonna do and it's opening to the left what we're gonna do is we are going to install the door servo over here and that'll work beautifully right there once that gets put down, we can connect it. And some of you are saying as well that we do not have to do the connection both ways, from the uh, door control system down to the servo and back. But you know what, for peace of mind, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to continue doing it because it uh, makes me feel good. I'm not quite sure that uh, that's the case, that it doesn't have to be uh, multiple. And I really don't want to test it out. Anyways. So we've got 50 prisoners, so well, really we have 49, but we have the capacity for 50, which we have one coming in. Two are due for parole, which uh, we did add the parole last episode, right? Right here, we've got our little parole section, so we do have uh, multiple, I want to say we have four meetings set up every single day for that. We do have to get power down here, which I'm glad I kind of caught that. That's there. Nothing else really needs power in our prison. Um, I do... You know what, somebody else was saying too, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to test this out. Somebody was saying that these don't work. They only work the three here, the three up top, you know what, like the diagonal ones don't work. Let's go ahead and test that out. I'm going to put the capacitor right there, and I want somebody to go and install it, and then we'll see if they're about to install that. I want to see if our power goes down. Because I'm going to call them out, if it does. Oh, see, it went down. So, whoever you are, you know who you are in the comments that said that these diagonal ones don't work. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. Ha ha. Ha. Anyways. We need to bring an ex uh, electrical cable up here. Give the power right there. I'm sure that door servo has been connected. It has. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and do the connection. Should be good there. These guys should be in this... Is that this guy's balding? Does he have gray hair? Oh, that's a bandana. Okay, I thought he had gray hair or uh, green hair. Sorry, that'd be pretty funny. Oh, look, another guy sentenced to 16 years for multiple game uh, crimes, including indie video game piracy. Hmm, six years that's rough, man. Mark Morgan, don't steal video games, dude. That's not cool, not cool at all. Anyways, power is gonna be hooked up there. We've got stuff going on over here. But we do have the dog. And a lot of these guys, look, a lot of these guys are asking for spirituality. A few are asking for drugs. 
a few are asking for literacy. So what I think I want to do in today's episode, I think I want to start building classrooms. Now, in the past, I've built multiple, like, like, like three or four giant classrooms that hold like 30 people, 40 people. I think we're going to go a little bit smaller this time. We're going to do something like two or three classrooms that only really hold 10, maybe 15 people. So let's check this out. The, uh, the classrooms have to be how large? I want to say 5x5, five five, but I'm not sure. I'm looking for the classroom and I'm not seeing it. Um, classroom? Is it not called classroom? Because that would be part of the problem. Um, office, infirmary, cleaning. You know what? Maybe it's not available because I do not have it researched yet. Let's see. Education, we need to research that. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get on that. What we're gonna do, we're also going to, how much money do we have? We have $51,000, that's not bad whatsoever. I want to research the tax relief because that's gonna give us a nice little tax break. That's gonna take quite a while. Uh, four days to be exact. No, I'm sorry, two days to be exact. And then, let's see, we'll, we'll worry about legal later. I want to do the education. We're not going to worry about armory or surveillance quite yet. So we're just going to focus on the tax and the education. The education being the most important one. Now, I'm a little... Uh, okay, here we go. Classroom needs to be 5x5. Five five. School desks and the office desk, right? So I want to say the school desks are two tiles. So I kind of want to start planning this out. Let's go into the planning one. Uh, we're going to plan for objects. Uh, let's do like uh, desk, 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 desk. Um, actually, you know what? Let's... Hmm. You know what? Yeah. We're going to do a gap here. And then we'll do something like that. Bam, bam. I think this is going to work. And then we are going to be able to do a wall over here. That's not going to work. Nope. Because I'm going to want to put the desk over here somewhere. And although the teacher could just kind of like not stand at the desk and just move around here. I, it doesn't really. Not, not something I want to do. Which, you know what? Why don't we try maybe doing it over here? Right? So if we do something like this. And then we'll do the row right there. We'll do another row right there. That we could have the walls coming over here and I know I'm not using the wall feature actually we're gonna have the walls right there we can have let's see that's uh, eight I want to say this is gonna be the middle right three there three peeking out that would be the middle right there clearly so we could put maybe the desk uh, shoot we could do you could just put the desk right there, I guess. Right up against the wall. That that doesn't look right, but you know what? What if we went What if we went this way? Just do a full row over there. We'll put it there. We'll do an opening there. We'll do another full row over here. And then we could put the desk like right here in the middle. That would work really well. Um, that would also require us to do a room that would be, let's see, 8 by 9 So then if we did another one, 8 by 9 we could have two rooms right there. That would actually work out pretty well. And we would just need this to be a wall and this to be a wall. We could do that. How close are we? Let's go ahead and speed up time. We can actually start building this. So let's go into brick wall. We'll build this. And we'll have ourselves two classrooms that we can start sending these prisoners to because I do want to give them although we're not we're not gonna be a super super hard-ass prison to where you know like you're not allowed to leave which I might have said that in the first episode or the first two episodes um, I think what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna try to lower these guys reoffending rate and get these guys out of here I uh, need to go into planning let's go ahead and delete that and let's start putting in these objects as soon as education gets done, which will be done in seven hours. Now, there are a few objects that we can put down now, like the office desk. 
and we said that we were going to do the office desk over here uh, we'll do another one right there let's go ahead and give them a door just a basic door and then a few of you too were saying that we should switch out the the cleaning cupboard door as well as the laundry for just a regular door that way the uh, prisoners can go in there and work without having to have the door opened I don't think I want to do that because this way they at least need keys if like a riot breaks out or something they at least need keys to get into all these rooms which uh, they can still poison from the cleaning cupboard and over here I, I don't know what exactly they would be able to steal from the laundry room but again it's best to just not let them go in there uh, same thing with the infirmary we're gonna keep the staff door just because there's uh, like syringes and stuff that they could steal over here scalpels too I think um, it is 1.30 in the morning. Let's go ahead and do a shakedown. Now we have 50 prisoners and we have 15 guards. So a little bit more than a, actually a little bit less I guess, than a 1 guard to 3 prisoners ratio. Which, you know what, I feel like that's probably better than real life prisons. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to leave it the way that is. Uh, that is. Uh, three more hours, a little bit less than three hours to go on the research for the classrooms. Let's go ahead and speed up time, get this shakedown done. I'm not quite sure how the laundry basket gets up here into these little random, random areas. That's kind of funky. Uh oh, somebody was found with alcohol. I'm going to take him to solitary. Let's see, we have one of a, uh, one awaiting solitary confinement, which I'm pretty sure is the gentleman that we just found with the alcohol. Where do they put him? Because he was over here. There he is. Mark White. Possession intent to supply. It looks like that's what you're planning on doing here, too. You've got the alcohol. Are you... Do you have the intent to supply your prisoners with alcohol? You're 21 years old. Come on, dude. Really? Got a girlfriend, a daughter, a mother and a father, obviously. 21 years old, and your 21 year old girl girlfriend has to uh, be all alone while you're in prison for how long? How long is he going to be in prison? Uh, 13 years? Holy smokes, that's crazy. He's got 9 years left on his sentence, that's ridiculous. Anyways, how many people ended up in solitary? Looks like just the two, and uh, Mark already got taken out. That's crazy, absolutely crazy. Anyways, let's get these classrooms finished. We're going to slow down time just a little bit. Uh, we should have the objects now, right? Where, oh where. There we go, school desk. We are going to do something like that. Bam, 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 bam. Two classrooms. All good. I'm going to open that up to all of our inmates that want to do some education courses. Let's go ahead and speed up time, have them look at that, they're bringing them in already. Beautiful. I'm thinking we might still want to have like an entrance over here, because I know we did. It'll just kind of speed up things a little bit, although it's not really all that bad. Um, them going around. We'll see. We'll kind of let things slide a little bit. We've got the doors in there, so what we can do is we can classify these rooms as classrooms now. Got one classroom there. We've got a second classroom there. Let's go ahead and go into the, um, not the policies, but the programs. And let's start offering the education stuff. Now, foundation education. 17 are interested, which is really good. For uh, us having, we cannot start it. Led by a teacher in the classroom, length three hours, requires a school desk, and okay. So, I mean, our regime, I think we allow, that's three hours right there. Three hours that they can go to class. Why is that not available? Programs, foundation, education. Required education, we have that. 20 places, 10 sessions. Do we not have enough? Many inmates lack even a basic foundation in reading, writing, and math skills. This course brings inmates up to that level. Passing allows prisoners to work in the library. Okay. Um, 20 places, 10 sessions. I think... Hmm. 
We don't have 20 places, and I really don't feel like we have to have 20 places. Uh, which, really, we I think we do. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So we have 24. It's just not in one room, which I really don't think is a problem. Um, why is this not working? Foundation education. All right. Uh, general education. That is the, the advanced one, right? Led by a teacher. Requires school desk. Must have completed foundation education. Yeah, so this is the uh, the original one. The one that we need to get out of the way first. 20 places, 10 sessions. I really hope that, that doesn't mean that we need 20 desks in one classroom. Although it probably does. So let's do a little bit of, um, of reconstruction here. What we are going to do is we're going to get rid of this wall here. Um, I feel like we also want to get rid of this door. Let's go ahead and speed up time again. We are also going to dismantle this school desk. Um, can we mark all this stuff? No, we cannot. That's unfortunate. We're going to go ahead. We're just going to clear this indoor area here. Uh, let's go ahead and clear that out as well. Uh, and we're going to come back here, we're going to do the objects, and let's do, so we have, um, that's going to be 18, right? 18, let's do that, that's just going to be 24, it's going to be the same amount, just in a different spot. We're going to put the office desk over here, like that, let's go ahead and do the, uh, the brick wall now. We're going to do that guy right there, we are going to install the door over here. Well, let's do it right there. And now we obviously have to get rid of the room over here. That is no longer going to be classroom. And now instead, we are going to have this entire area be a classroom. And we also want to finish out this wall with the uh, the bricks. So now it should work. Without a doubt, this should work. Let's go ahead. Why? I need one. There we go. Thank you very much. Now, this is going to be probably another classroom eventually. Um, but, yeah. So, we have that. Let's see if we can actually assign this now. No. Okay. I'm clearly doing something wrong here. Policy. Not the problem. Grants. We can do the... I'm not going to worry about that yet. Why, oh why. Let's see. I'm sure it's something very small that I'm just overlooking. Education, I don't feel like we have to hire a teacher. Uh, workman, guard, doctor, dog handler, janitor, no, 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 no. Nope, don't have to hire any of that. And the classroom is fully stocked. It's got the office desk as well as the school desk. It doesn't need anything else. All right, let's just hover. Um, five by five, indoors, school desk, office desk. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Why is this not working? Hmm. Valuation, not concerned with that. The finance, no programs. Uh, let's do reschedule all and let's try this again. Foundation education, no. I'm thinking we probably, it's probably an issue with the regime. That is the only solution that I feel like. Let's do work free time. Ah, oh, man, I really don't want to give these guys too much free time. They don't really need that shower time. So why don't we do this? Let's go ahead and make that eating time right there. We'll go ahead and bump that up. Let's let, you know. Let's see if that did the trick. Uh, programs reschedule. Let's go back here to foundation education. Nope, still didn't do the job. Hmm. Parole hearings, alcohol, everything else is good here. 14 people finished the pharmacological treatment for drug addiction. 14 finished, 14 passed, um, 100%. So everybody that has taken that has passed, which is really nice to see. Um, unfortunately for the parole, well, I guess that's fortunate as well as unfortunate. Five people have had their parole hearings and only one person has actually been paroled. That's a little less than I would have assumed. Uh, we can do the kitchen and staff hygiene course. We can also do, we can't do the workshop because we clearly don't have a workshop yet. Behavioral therapy, that is the uh, psychologist in the office. We can do a couple of those. 
because we do have two psychologists as well as oh it won't let me interesting we do have two psychologists and we do have two psychologist offices so I'm not quite sure why that's not allowing a second one but I'm not too concerned about that what I'm really concerned about is this foundation education program now this is a three hour session which we do have a four hour gap right there let's go ahead we're gonna keep that there um, let's bump their eat time actually you know what yeah let's do that we're gonna do something like that hopefully that works let's see foundation education no still no 20 places 10 sessions led by teacher which is an outside thing three hours each prisoner requires a school desk which they have voluntary can hire externally student sits academic easy required education we have education unlocked right there requires a warden which we have unlocks the ability to run the educational reform programs for your prisoners using externally hired teachers interesting 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 while we are trying to figure that out let's go ahead and see if there's anything else going on over here is this a picture uh, notebook page designation rooms all right required yeah 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 cool that's kind of useless I guess don't really need that let's exit all of that junk uh, they've got their new clothing here looks like there's a few dirty things still on the floor I'm sure they're gonna go ahead and get that handled our janitors are cleaning up the the prison we've got our guard over here patrolling which is nice um, yes I do realize that this area over here is still open although um, this area is actually pretty secure because they still have to go through um, the metal detectors to get over here regardless well I guess they don't have to go through metal detectors over here so we should actually probably put metal detectors right here let's check our utilities we've got utilities running right there I am going to want to let's go ahead and put metal detectors over here in this little corridor and I think that's gonna actually make our entire prison uh, pretty safe as far as the metal being uh, smuggled in and out of different places now where oh where metal detector come on no 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 man this is always the struggle even on here we go metal detector I was gonna say it's the struggle even on other uh, let's play channels I watch their prison architect videos or I used to I used to I used to love watching prison architect videos and nobody can ever find the item that they want uh, in a timely manner it's always it's always the last place you look which obviously right it's the last place you look oh what's going on something's popping off somebody tried to hit a guard Alright, this guy uh, unconscious and they handcuffed him, which I guess is good overall. What's going on? Something's going on over here. Let's do uh, let's do bang up. We're going to do bang up. We're not messing around. This guy looks like he might be trying to destroy something over here. Or maybe he's just uh, dancing in his cell. I don't know what's going on over there. Some guys are uh, some showering. Let's see. What's going on as far as our needs? Hygiene. Well, they're in their cells. They can pretty much go to their cells almost whenever they want. Hmm, interesting. Uh, it is going to be time to eat here soon, I think. Or maybe they just did eat. That's probably what set it all off. Looks like, yeah, looks like that's what set it all off. They were eating and then some, like a fight started and then all that stuff happened. Let's go ahead and get rid of the bang up. A few guys are going to get taken to see the doctor and then uh, most likely get thrown in solitary. As we can see here, one in solitary, two waiting, and one requires medical attention, which I'm sure that's going to happen right now. Now, what is the issue with the classroom? Uh, you know what? Let's try something. I'm going to go to the regime, and I'm just going to make all of this regular old free time. That is two four-hour blocks. And you know what? Let's even do free time right there. Now, that is the last thing that I can think of as far as the foundation education program. And there it is. It let me do it. No, it didn't. 
Did it? Foundation education program start. Really weird. Parole hearing. Workshop safety. And it, it kind of kicked me out of the kitchen safety as well. Um, edit schedule. Not too worried about that. Let's do reschedule all programs. Uh, foundation education. It won't let me select it. Kitchen safety. It won't let me do that one either. What the heck is going on? Parole hearings are still set. It canceled the pharma, uh, pharmacological treatment of drugs. It won't let me do any of these. That's crazy. Is it because that's labeled as work now instead of free time? That might be it. Um, let's try that. Let's try regime. What we're going to do is we're going to do work and free time. We're just going to make... We'll do three block, three hour block there. We'll do a three hour block there. Actually, no, we're gonna do the block there and we'll make this free time. Now let's see if our programs will work. We want kitchen and safety hygiene. Yes, that worked. Foundation education. Yes, beautiful, that worked. Uh, let's do the behavioral therapy. Did that work? Yes, it did, nice. Uh, we'll do the, uh, the treatment for drug addiction. That worked as well. Alcoholics group therapy in the common room. Yes, we want that. Spiritual guidance. Yes, we want that as well. And I think we're good. We don't need the general because we haven't had anybody pass the basic. We don't need carpentry. We don't need workshop because we don't have that. Everything else is a go. Good. Beautiful. We figured that out. So clearly it's set as not free time, but the work. Uh, the work time. What I want to do is we're going to do the last thing here. We're just going to do electrical cables so that it can power our little metal detectors over here. The new ones that we just uh, installed. And let's see. Our canine unit here needs to go get checked out. I'm not sure why the, uh, the doctors aren't coming to uh, check them out. I would really like for them to get looked at. Let's see, let's select the doctor and let's have them come up here and maybe they will check them out. There we go, doctor is coming and doctor is going. No, there you go, there you go, beautiful, okay. I think everybody's good, right? Uh, assign three prisoners. No, no, no. I don't care about that. Three in solitary confinement. I'm sure they belong. Three prisoners up for parole. Okay, we have another prisoner coming in. And we're good. Nobody needs medical attention or anything like that. Uh, they are going to go eat now. Hopefully that won't cause a little bit of a problem. Let's go ahead and watch this. I want to make sure that nothing kicks off here. And I'm thinking we could probably get rid of these doors. So you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to take this door. And I think I'm going to just go ahead. I'm going to open that door. Lock open there. Um, we're going to go ahead and keep that the way that is. I'm going to go ahead and keep that one locked. This is our primary door that people go in and out of when they're eating. So just to kind of save a little bit of time, I am going to keep that one open. Now we do have a gentleman over here. Uh, why is he not solitary three hours escort prisoner to solitary? Okay, good. They're doing that. What did he do? Alex Osborne gang member, right? Because he's got the, the face tattoos looks like uh, Reoffending chance 39% way too high But he's gonna be out in three years He's only been in our prison for six days But he's already attacked a staff member and we found him with weapons. So in those six days, he's managed to uh, get himself in a decent amount of trouble. And we have, what is that, four out of six cells occupied right now in solitary. So that looks like um, it could be an issue. We might need to expand solitary, which luckily we do have room. We have plenty of room to expand solitary up here. Now I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do up here. We might do a bigger chapel because that looks like it might be a thing that we need to do. We might do a workshop because I would like to start producing um, license plates and all that kind of stuff. Just get ourselves a little bit of extra cash, although we're not desperate for it. Uh, in the next episode, we will expand our cells over here. Uh, I want to say we'll maybe get to, it's, it's like five, well, we might get to 75. I'm guessing it'll be just under, uh, although we could expand a little bit more out this way and double that, triple that even. 
Uh oh, found somebody. Uh oh, Warren Ellison, you sir got caught uh, with weapons, drugs, and you attacked a staff member. So you're also just getting yourself in all kinds of trouble, and you're only a third of your way done with your sentence. Not good, dude. Not good. Anyways, you know what? We uh, we made it through the lunch hour without any kind of fight breaking out in the canteen, so that is a success. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It would mean a lot. And again, I apologize for not having any videos for the last two days, but um, hopefully that won't be the case moving forward. Um, expect to see more Prison Architect as well as Sim Airport and all that good stuff here in the next few days. And I might, there's a small chance I might even do two videos today just to kind of, you know, make up uh, to you guys for the lack of videos the last 48 hours. Anyways, again, if you guys like the video, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hopefully I will see you guys on another video. Until then, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.